today we're going to talk about a baby bath this is often a very anxiety provoking time for parents because they're worried about doing it the proper way but actually your baby doesn't know what the proper way is but there's a number of things that your baby will respond to he or she needs to remain warm he or she needs to feel safe and it needs to be as pleasurable as possible so what do we need you need a clean set of clothing you need a dry towel obviously a dry nappy or a diaper we need some cotton balls or cotton pads or two separate clean face cloths and one small um, face cloth wipes and whatever soap you plan to use so either a liquid baby soap or an aqueous cream or a bar of baby soap so what we're going to do is we've undressed this little one already but we're going to leave the nappy on and the principle is to work from clean to dirty so we're gonna and i've tested the water here so you just take the heel of your hand or your elbow or your arm and test the water it should be comfortably warm not obviously cold or too hot i'm going to take a cotton ball wet it and wipe your little one's eye from inside to outside and throw away and the same goes for the other eye and throw away and then and of course at this point you can keep your little ones clothes on or you can swaddle them um, in a towel and then we're going to wash your little one's face and the whole time you're talking to him or her telling him or her stories um, making them feel safe and comfortable so we're gonna dab dry remember not to cover the nose or the mouth because that will make them feel suffocated and uncomfortable right so we've done the face and then we're going to wrap your little one in a towel and we're going to wash the head first because that is the biggest surface area so if the head and the body are wet at the same time particularly in the winter uh, they will lose a lot of heat quickly and that's particularly important for prem babies and of course in the winter when it's a little bit colder so what we're going to do is i'm going to we've wrapped this little one in the towel I'm going to hold them and block their ears gently. You don't have to press them tightly closed, but we just don't want to run a lot of water in there. And then we're going to tuck your little one underneath your arm, ears slightly closed. And while you're talking to your baby, you're going to wash their hair. Just gently. You can do it just with water, warm water and a face cloth. Or you can use some appropriate soap. Um, and then we rinse off and the whole time we're busy talking about what a nice day it is and I can hear the birds outside and this afternoon we're going for a walk and after your bath now you're going to have a nice sleep and you place your baby back gently on the changing mat dab the hair dry behind the ears There we go. Right, and then we're going to move to the rest of the body. So we take the nappy or the diaper off. Um, ideal not to submerse a cord into water. So while the cord is still on, it is better to do a top and tail. So in other words, a little bowl of water where you wash face, bottom and any other area, perhaps hands. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the diaper off. Quickly do a clean. This is not a dirty one. And then I find it quite useful to hold the baby's arm like that. So we've got a little kind of grip there. Pop your baby into the water. And so I find it useful to use a tub in the first few weeks after life because you can do it in your baby's room, which is often warmer than a bathroom. And you're obviously using less water and it's just a little bit more manageable. So we're going to use a thin face cloth, often a clumpy big face cloth is a bit more difficult to work with. And you're going to wash underneath the neck area, tummy, arms, hands are very important, especially if you've been out and about. And that's the, the part that people often touch. So you wash hands nicely and obviously in between the fingers and there's lots of creases there and that's where dust um, dust sits in, and sometimes bacteria. So let's just wash gently all the creases and then you wash 
in the perennial area we wash from front and then finally the back area and you only wash what you have access to you don't need to um, pull open pull back okay and the whole time you're talking to your baby you want to keep the movements calm not rushed um, unexpected movements but gentle calm movements so we're gonna dry this little one you're busy talking to them make sure you dry in all the little creases It's not necessary to bath your baby every day. You can bath your baby twice a week. Um, so very, very frequent bathing is not necessarily beneficial for that microbiome that's on your body. So the first thing we'll do is pop the, the nappy or the diaper back on. Uh, we'll pretend that this little cord has already fallen off, but the diaper is still a bit big. So we want to just keep it away. Uh, so we folded this one back and then we take the towel out so we just keep the towel there while you put the diaper on because obviously if they pass urine they're going to wet all over everything again when you're dressing your little one either you can scoop the clothes up from the legs or if you make the space for the head and pop it on like that it's less distressing the same goes for when you put sleeves on you put your finger through grab the hand so that you don't get any little fingers caught in the sleeve and the same goes for the other side there we go I lost these little and as far as warmth we always dress at least one layer warmer than what you're wearing. And then if the, this little one in, in winter at the moment, this little one would have at least two blankets on. It's ideal to use cotton or natural fiber clothing next to your baby's skin. So it generates a more natural heat um, and it is more gentle on the skin. You can put little socks underneath so baby's peripheral circulation is not very good so their hands and feet tend to get um, colder much faster and all this time you're still talking to your baby if you have a little one that has a tendency to blocked eye ducts with clean hands you can just roll your finger gently on the bridge of the nose you don't touch the eye and you can do that before or after cleaning their eye. Important to keep your hands clean when you're working with your little one and then obviously to wash your hands afterwards again, particularly when you're changing diapers once your little one has had immunizations. And then we'll just put a little blanket around. And usually after a bath, babies tend to have a good sleep. But if it's a bit chilly, they might want a little extra breastfeed before you pop them down to sleep. And that's it.